Hi guys and welcome to the channel. My name is Chris and this is Robonics Gaming with Code Vein on PlayStation 4 Part 14 and this is a solo run. Um, so yeah, slightly more difficult with our uh, partner or in co-op. So it's probably going to take a little bit longer to take down some bosses or get past some parts of levels. But we're doing this. We like a bit of a challenge on this channel, so... Uh, let's give it a go. Um, where did we leave off? Okay, so we just cleared this area. Uh, I'm pretty sure we've done um, all of the like overground area as well. Um, yeah, that's better. Dried up trenches. We've done all of that. We've done the boss uh, at the end there. I could say it's a lot easier <coughs> with a melee character. But just a bit of a cough there. Um, so that led us back to this bit. The Howling Pit, which is where we are now. Uh -oh. We are... <coughs> Oh god, I just have a bit of a bit of a coffin fit there. Uh, so yeah, we are running a mage spec. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to get the the fire ability actually. Which is on here. I probably should just switch to that. Hold on. Um. Yeah, I should probably have a look at that. Uh, so when you get to this point in the game as well, this is a good area for farming, uh, for farming haze. Um, yeah, so I need to get some XP in that area. We can get that fire, fire damage on there. Is there anything out like, I don't know, I think I have been unlocking skills as I've been going, so... But I haven't actually, uh, acquired them yet. So we've just been unlocking whatever we could um I haven't got the poison that might be pretty good to have um uh, that might be a good ability as well firm stand Okay, so we just need to unlock the passive, so we're going to switch to Prometheus spec. And see what we can do with this. Obviously, we want to get the flame. Uh, and I'm sort as well. Let's get the firestorm. And this blade. Blade dance. Um, <clears throat> was there anything else that we don't have? Uh, sure. <clears throat> I think that's everything on that side. Um, no requirements. There's a requirement for this. Savvy evasion increases the amount of focus gain from dodging attacks. Um, for restores stamina when you parry an attack. Uh, strength and dexterity up. And I think that's it for these as well. So I'm gonna get some probably a bit more health. Give them stamina, stamina health. Give them health. Do I juice health? Um change this around as well. 
to what? Alright, someone with a little bit more melee. Maybe not claw. A lot of decrease too. Yeah, um, well, I guess I could just keep skills that I have anyway. Blazing World, I just can't use that. <clears throat> but I can use Bloodshot. back up <clears throat> let's try with this just until we get the flame sword and then we can switch back um, and it's not that hard it just takes a few runs with this and you can pick most of these off I'm down there let's get this flame sword up see how we're doing So there's a lot there's a few of these guides just hanging off the edge which you can kind of just knock over get the XP for that is generally what we're gonna be doing with this this little run can get some these guys as well because they're kind of like easy to get the uh, parries on. I've kind of got a, a slow wind up so you can see where they're coming from. Uh, so yes, yeah, so this is a nice little uh, Nice little uh, farming area. And that is uh, generally the run. I mean, you can go, uh, can go back and take out this big, uh, this fat guy over here. <laughs> Here's a bit more of a risk, but probably worth it to get that guy down. Big, but he's also pretty slow. You know, just hack and slash that guy down to death. Um, okay, we got quite a bit of experience for that. We're just gonna go back and have a rest and go go through that run again. Or we try to take on a few attempts at taking on the boss. I don't know how well this boss battle's gonna uh, go. 
uh, I do have blind playthrough on this uh, description, which I kind of need to take out because, um, <clears throat> like, I have been playing a different character alongside this, a kind of uh, a warrior-based character, full strength. Um, <clears throat> but kind of like I, I do know that there's a boss here, uh, and it's pretty tough. The melee. I don't know how tough it's going to be for her casters. Uh, but this is what we're going to find out soon. Um, but yeah, so I'm a little bit ahead up with my warrior, warrior character, so that's why it isn't as blind as I like to think it is. boss is still going to be a challenge um, just because I focused on so much on getting the timing right for for melee that caster is going to be slightly different because there's a whole different move set for ranged um, so I might need to go in pretty close uh, cast some spells get some board attacks off to defeat this boss Um, because generally, strategy for uh, melee characters for me was to um, kind of get in close, uh, parry the uh, swing attacks. Then you just see it start to swing, click the parry button, and you'll get like uh, a little stun on the boss where you can get shot off um, or get recovery. Um. <clears throat> oh, sh I thought I rolled off then. That wouldn't have been good. I'm going to freeze this guy. Um. And then everything else, like a, a pole um, stomp or a kick, would be a, a dodge out of the way. And you just keep uh, repeating that process. Uh, just one attack. Evade, one attack, evade. Um, until we get into phase two. And then it's uh, kind of similar, but you'll just be doing the same thing again whenever she starts to swing. Get ready to parry, and then if you don't get the parry, get ready to dodge, because she kind of does follow up attacks. And then same again, get a swing in for the recovery phase. And then kind of like roll dodge out of her charge attack. So. <clears throat> oh man, that was bad. Yeah, I don't know how it's going to be for. Uh, for the cast down, I might have to go in close, regardless of what, what happens. <clears throat> uh, just because I, of. Of mana, icor. Uh, I could do it. It's easier to dodge in range because she just does like an overhead swing, which has like an incredible amount of range on it. Or she does like a her own magic cast. Probably a bit more careful around here. Um. <clears throat> But yeah, I'm going to have to be like rushing in to get a few swings to get some more icor back anyway. Uh, so I don't know, it might be easier just to go into melee range. this by now. Might need another run round. 
or two just to get this, uh, this proficiency up. There it is. <coughs> Um, so I don't know how I feel about this kind of like uh, job system uh, that you get by equipping like different blood codes, you get different abilities. Uh, I kind of feel like as you're playing through the game, if you're acquiring kind of skill points, then you should probably like apply to all code veins. Um, so instead of uh, getting proficiency in a weapon, it might it'll probably it makes more sense to me that you should be like acquiring skill points, and as you're switching blood code, you should be able to put those skill points into certain skills. Uh, yeah, the the cost of skills, putting them into those to acquire them skills, and then kind of have them like uh, saved whenever you switch out codes, blood codes. And then come on man and then you know kind of like have like a little soft reset button you can press if you want to distribute them differently um, and that would save like a hell of a lot of grinding if you wanted to like try out different different specs in this game Whoa! I thought I was off the edge then. Damn. Getting a little bit uh, uh, there. Should probably heal here. If I'm like failing on get, uh, hitting these guys, I'm probably gonna fail a lot on the boss. Um, because this kind of feels like a bit unnecessary to me. It just kind of drives. Just run around getting a bit more. Uh, just get experience in the skill to be able to use it in a different um, uh, blood code. Anyway, that's just my my thoughts on this system. Still haven't got it yet. Okay. How much left is there? It's almost done. But we've got like a few more. One or two more enemies to kill. Uh, so we'll just get this, then we'll switch back over and just carry on. Because uh, obviously, stuff like this is boring for you guys to watch.
There we go. <coughs> Arch just wandering as well. Yeah, we've got that one. So I think, I'm not too sure about this, but I think there might be like a 20% uh, bonus to fire damage, maybe. I've been making that up. Um, I could be completely wrong about that. Uh, do we need to inherit more gifts? Just go through this all again. I'm like paranoid that I'm missing something. Um, that would be nice. And so would that, actually. Just a few off. Um, use some of these items. We, need, we just need a few hundred, right? How much does this get? That could be enough. <coughs> oh, just a bit more damage one handed. <coughs> okay, so we're gonna acquire it. We're not gonna put it on just yet. <laughs> Um, I hope I've got the other skill as well, actually, which kind of... Um, alright. <coughs> let's on quick here, let's on quick. <coughs> okay, blood shot, blood shot, blazing roll. Um, willpower D plus. What is this on? This is willpower C. Power B. Um, you throw this up there, pull a blazing board on, and that. And then what? Stamina, health, weapon drain rate in. Dark impulse. What does this do? Increase the effects of dark. Gifts while you are focused. Nice. Um, um, not gonna be able to do that. <coughs> uh, that might be good. Straight away enough weapon attacks. Uh, so let's keep those. Let's just change that for that. Uh, okay, let's try and do this. I feel like that is really low HP. I'm probably gonna die a lot, but let's let's see if this works. Uh, let's give it a go. Do we already attempt this boss? I'm not too sure. We might have we might have attempted this boss before in the previous videos. Let's soon see. Well, I've been this far before.
get straight into it. Brilliant. No! Very much over already. Might be over. Probably do with uh For this war as well, which is <sighs> slows you down a bit. And I'm gonna load up with some bells and just run in and get some attacks in. Don't to get too greedy. And make sure you keep stamina as well. That's gonna be important. I've got some. So brutal. Probably shouldn't have done that. Oh, okay. Oh man. Nasty. I think I'm just gonna put her into yeah, put her in second phase. We really need some heals though. <laughs> Can we get another one? And this bit here is what we need to dodge. Oh, because it's on one shot. What the f Okay. Okay, new strat. I might actually go for quick dodging in this. Hmm. Man, that hurts. Okay, switch weapons. Oh yeah, I'm gonna try doing it at range this time. Why am I rolling? We're not quick. We are on quick. Um, okay. To this. Oh, is that good? I think this is what we're meant to do anyway. Get some attacks. Very 
many. Awesome. Oh, okay. There's this bit we need to be very careful about. Oh my god. Oh, that is so annoying. Well, I've never been second. Uh, like, got past that in the second phase with a caster. Um, but it seemed to be a lot more easier to control the fight being in ranged as a caster because she only really has two attacks that can affect us. Um, which, like you saw there, is the kind of like the cast that she does and the like overhead uh, slab with a weapon which kind of brings her in closer to us so we should be at that point just jumping in for a few slash attacks if we could close the dist distance this weapon doesn't seem to have much range on it I'm just wondering actually if the other one uh, has a bit more oh, it's just lost bait there Hold on. oh that takes us to normal so we're not really do that anyway let's go in let's get the attacks Seem to be here now that hard. Oh crap. There, I feel that's the strategy for this. Very much so. Just in, maybe get an attack or two. Maybe not. So we're going to. Oh, no way, what are you doing? Guard, guard, guard. We got hit there. Probably not a good idea to do that. Um, so slow at dodging that. This shouldn't be that hard. Um, and with that you kind of just need to like dodge straight through her. But I seem to be having an issue with that at the minute. Okay, so that's not too bad. We seem to be like phase one seems to be like you know, down. We seem to be okay with that right now. Oh god, just dodging that slide. I need to dodge forward. As soon as she goes down, charge forward. Okay, this bit. Go down. Charge for it. Oh man. That is annoying as fuck. Oh 
man dodging them attacks <laughs> that it's, it's just so fast it's a bit too fast for me I might need to go in go in close range I don't know when she's going to do it I think it's just um, as soon as we're in at distance she's going to do that I don't know um, but if that's the case, I might just switch up, go into switch weapon, go into melee, keep it, keep the battle there. Dash, man. Fuck. It's just one shot. How are we meant to, like, do that? Oh, fuck. <laughs> that is annoying as hell. Really annoying. Okay. Basically, you screwed as a caster on this. Like, have I got a health? I've got health up. Just that attack just absolutely annihilates me. Literally a one shot, you down. Two hundred sixty-four. Surely that's not right. don't know what to do yet like what range to be where to stand <sighs> okay so we're kind of good in getting to phase two uh, we could polish that up a little bit so we're not getting hit as much But just, like, as soon as we get into phase two, that slide just annihilates. And even if we get past that, it's the attack afterwards. Just taking us out completely. So powerful. A few hits in. All right. Just you and me. Oh, that 
attack, but I'm being so stupid here. I should just be healing up. Doing things at a little safe distance, not rushing in. Alright, now you are gonna kill me with your slide. No! What the hell? I can't. Oh, I just can't time it. I really can't time it. That's why I'm pressing it as soon as she goes down, but it's not enough. It's just not enough. Maybe I need to just be in range. Like, just slide in as soon as she goes out. Maybe that's where I'm going wrong. I don't know. Let's try that. Let's just go straight in. Ah. So frustrating. <laughs> seem like that done much damage. Oh, that was two. No. Now I've got to recover because I'm such an idiot. Stay out. Gonna try. Alright, going up. No! <laughs> what the hell? Uh, Well, this is probably going to be a, a pretty long video. Longer than I wanted it to be. I might even have to stop it and just, you know, have multiple attempts in another video because uh, something's not working here. And it needs to be working. It's that bloody roll that's getting me every time. <laughs> Some reason unknown to me. smart about it. I'm just like shooting myself in the foot here. Yeah. Actually, wait. No. What the hell, man? No recovery time at all. I want to get my health up before she goes into phase two. I just probably need to get a bit closer actually. A few, uh, a few stabs. That was too late. Or was it? Alright, let's get back. Just 
wondering if this is going to be enough. Oh, come on, I pressed it. How the hell are you meant to do this, boss? I was I, I literally like pressed it as soon as she went down. And I'll put my guard up as well. But surely that doesn't have anything to do with Does it? Maybe it does. Maybe I should just should just not put my guard up. Uh, we'll try. We'll try. I don't think that's going to have much impact, but... Alright. I kind of feel like if I do it, all the health bar comes up. Yeah. That was a bit lame. gonna be to a range like when she does that she clearly can't do that swing when we're this far apart gotta walk up There is a range for these as well. We can start a range for those. <sighs> She's gonna go down. Probably heal actually. She's gonna do it again. Oh, nope. uh, no. few options. Okay, it's so looking at it a little bit closer. Seems like there's like the range triggers what she does. So if you go too far out, she's gonna do magic. If you go like medium she's gonna do that kind of closing the distance attack. And of course she's got them uh, three different attacks when you're in melee range. And if we wait for her health bar to come up and then attack, we do the full damage. So if we're about here, she's gonna go closing the distance. So we can just come straight back out again and she's gonna do magic. Okay, so that's nice. If we can manipulate her like this. Let's do a shot. Okay. So we could just get out of range of this. Probably. We could just start arranging that. But then we're gonna have to go in. Oh, let's get 
it's um no wrong one Still need. Oh man, that hurt. Then how do we get into this more? More attacks. We could. I suppose I'm not. Am I out of range? Let me do it again. Yep. She can do it. Oh no! Wrong one. I need to heal. Oh, she does it twice. We're getting a little bit closer, but we just don't have any. Uh, I kind of like used a few eye core things then. I guess we're taking them out of the bag anyway. Uh, but yeah, we're just running out of magic. Um, a shame. I guess we're not getting too much from this. I keep pressing the triangle button. Can we have a... Yeah. I think I might have been out of range for a few of them attacks as well. I guess we could just use it here for the kind of some more. Um but yeah, just this kind of Maybe I just gotta get just straight, like right in. Uh, okay, I'm gonna try just go melee there, kind of uh, parrying attacks. That slide, ridiculous. I guess she's not one shot me with it, which is a good a plus. I got a dash, I guess. I need to get distance as well to actually hit her. I'm just gonna go in and out. Some attacks.
bit of it. Stupid. The next one's just gonna go down anyway. Still only at 25. Here should be good to avoid it. Then so. call this because I don't really know what I need to be doing here okay, there's no point in blocking because blocking don't do shh I'm just going to take loads of damage um that That move that she does is annoying. I didn't even try parrying that, which is what really annoyed me. Come on, man. He's gonna surely get an attack in, no? Be closer. Definitely want to be. Oh, fuck off, you dickhead. This is really doing my head in. So this video is already an hour long, and so far we just grinded stuff and then died a bunch to this bitch. The staff. Uh, and I don't know what I'm doing wrong at all. It's, it's got to be something to do with ranges. <laughs> Has to be. Alright, and this is a big chunk of damage as well, if we can get the spell off. 1,700, so it's good.
going into phase two. We do some. Let's get into melee. Fuck it. Let's just do this. Once you come slides. Oh, she's already there. Some attacks are. Straight in. Keep it in. It's getting later and later. This video is getting longer and longer, so I am going to leave this video here because I have ballsed up so many times. Uh, okay, hopefully see you guys in the next video where we are going to down this motherfucker. She's really starting to test my patience. Okay, hopefully see you guys again in the next video. Take care.